I hope that learning these stories will prompt you to want to know more, to realize that it is your history. I can take strength and do from reading these stories and knowing of these individuals. We worked very hard uh, to be uh, true to the history, true to the fact. Um, we don't sanitize. Uh, we tell the facts and the story as uh, it was to the best of our knowledge that we can find looking at history. It may challenge you. Not everything you read is going to be happy, happy, because not everything in life is happy, happy. And, and if you, you know, want some sanitized version, uh, we aren't it. You're right. Uh, we've not done a good job of being um, broad and expansive in what we've told of our history, um, whether by gender or by race. And also, on the negative side, there has been so much misinformation written and presented over the years uh, that was done by good people intending to do well. But uh, there was so much misinformation that came about that um, you know, blacks were not able to hold the priesthood because they had been less valiant in the pre-existence or because um, Cain killed Abel. So much information, misinformation in our literature. We have read every word in those manuals and identified it and have uh, positioned that so that the brethren have it. They are working on it, trying to undo that scaffolding that was used to justify a policy that was never of God, but thought to have been of God and taught as though it were of God. And uh, so these things come and they come slowly. And the church does things quietly. There are changes already in certain of our teaching tools out there for seminary and uh, for uh, institute that they've just quietly put in place. I would hope that it will come a lot faster in the near future because there is a lot to be covered.